Welcome back my dudes, this time we are going over an introduction to Rigging in Maya. I will be using 2017 and a free plugin known as Advanced Skeleton. In this tutorial, I will go over a basic setup of a rig using the plugin. This will not cover skinning and paint weighting as I will be saving that for another video. The first thing that you want to do is download and install the plugin. You can find it at animationstudios.com.au. Once it's downloaded, put the file in a place you want. I keep mine in the Maya version by a location. Installation can be a tedious task that can take multiple attempts and several hours to do correctly. No worries though, I'll walk you through the steps carefully. Start by selecting the custom tab in your toolbar. Then drag the Mel script installation file into the viewport and you're done. Let's open it up and get started. Select the orange button and open the body dropdown. This will be where the majority of importing, constructing, and editing your skeleton will be. Scroll all the way down and find the Dock button. Click it. Open the Fit drop-down and click on the Fit Skeleton Import Options. Notice the various types of base skeletons we can start with. Let's stick with a human biped for now and import it. This is the Fit Skeleton. Notice how it shows only half of the limbs of a normal skeleton would, along with labels to each part. Limbs and labels can be added and changed through the label system. Click on the question mark to learn more about them. Let's open the build dropdown and build an advanced skeleton. It will begin a process to generate FKs, IKs, drivers, and other controllers with custom attributes. Now that the skeleton is done, new options are visible in the build dropdown. Let's click on the toggle revert back to our fit skeleton. Here, we can make changes to the skeleton and rebuild it if necessary. Let's add a tail to our skeleton. If we go to the fit area to where extra limbs are, we have foot, hand, and tail. Select tail and import. This is automatically applied to the skeleton. Let's move this back a little bit, and then rebuild our advanced skeleton. Let's get rid of this tail. I'm going to rebuild the skeleton, and then we're going to look at generating geometry. If we would look at the drop-down geometry skeleton, we can create one. And based on the structure of the bones, it'll create a skeleton. Looking at the skeleton, you will notice different controllers. The light blue circles are FK controllers. The red boxes are IK controllers. The dark blue plus signs are FK to IK blend controls. The yellow curves at each hand are drivers that control the fingers. The three yellow pluses at the face control eye movement. The four arrows at the hips control the hips. The big yellow plus near the hips is the hip swinger. And finally, the circle at the bottom is the main rig controller. Have fun with the skeleton. Move it around. Position it. Pose it. Doesn't matter. One very important thing is to look at each individual controller and its attributes in the channel box layer editor. After you're done messing with the skeleton for a little bit and posing and having fun, go to the bottom left of your screen and click on the button that says go to build pose. This will bring your skeleton back to the T-pose where it was earlier. If we go into the Control Curves drop-down, we can modify and mirror controllers how we see fit. You know, I don't like this elbow control right here. I'm going to turn the scale a little bit down. Let's go 0.75. And I'm going to hit the scale button. It automatically shrinks. Now, the other side hasn't changed at all. Whenever you're doing the mirror options, it goes left to right or right to left. And this is the skeleton's right, not your right if you're looking at the skeleton. So on the skeleton's right to left, it goes from the right side to the left side. And now it is shrunk. One last thing I want to show is the walk designer. 
Open the Tools drop down and select Walk Designer. This is a good way to test your skinning and quickly hash out walk animations. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps get you started with rigging. Next video I'll be going over bone structure and paint weighting. Until next time.